Hello, I'm Raquel, and today I'm going to be going over some of the requirements for the Research Project Proposal Presentation, and also tools you can use to record your presentation. First, let's start with the framing of your camera. You should sit in the center with your whole head and the upper parts of your shoulders showing. Sitting too far away from the camera means that we might not be able to hear you or see your face clearly. Sitting too close doesn't look good either. Remember that your full head and the top part of your shoulders should be visible. This way, you can easily lift your hands into the screen if you will use them when you present. Another thing I want to note is that your presentation time begins when you start speaking for your presentation and ends when you finish your presentation. This means that if you present for 8 minutes and 30 seconds, but your video clip is 10 minutes long, tutors will note that your presentation was under the time limit. We understand that it may take a few seconds for you to start and stop the video recording software, so that time is not counted as your presentation time. Let's talk about the software you can use to record your presentation. As you know, your presentation must be on one half of the screen and your camera on the other half. This may create a challenge in finding free software that allows you to record your presentation and a large image of yourself at the same time. We do not require you to use a specific software, but I will recommend three options that you can try depending on your device. These options will be OBS Studio for PC, QuickTime for Mac, and Zoom for individuals who only have a phone camera. Let's first start with OBS Studio. OBS Studio is a software you can download from obsproject.com. It is usually used for video streaming online. You can also use it to record various things on your computer. On the website, you can see that there is a download for Windows, Mac, and Linux users. Mac users may try to use OBS Studio, but they may have some difficulties using it. Once you have downloaded the software, you should install it and then open the software. First, you need to make sure there is a scene. You might already have a scene open, but if not, click on the plus sign to add a scene. You can rename it if you'd like. Next, you need to add your web camera. In the sources box, click the plus sign at the bottom and find video capture device. You can choose a name and then click OK. OBS Studio will try to find your webcam, but if it doesn't find it, search for the device in the drop-down menu. Once you see the correct webcam, click OK. Your webcam will then appear in the large black box. You can adjust the size and shape to fit approximately half of the screen. Now let's move on to adding in the presentation. First, make sure that the presentation is open on your computer. If it is not open, OBS will not be able to detect it. Now let's add another source. This time, select Window Capture and then locate the correct window in the drop-down menu. Click OK and resize the window to fit on half of the screen. Outside of OBS Studio in the presentation file, use Reading View and then click or use arrows on your keyboard to move between slides. If you cannot find your presentation window in the Window Capture on OBS, then try using the Browser Source option. For this, you will need to upload your presentation to Google Drive. Then click Share and make sure the link that you copy says anyone on the internet with this link can view. Copy that link into the URL box on OBS Studio for the browser source and click OK. To control the browser, right-click the source in OBS and then click Interact. A new box will appear that lets you control the browser. Once you have everything set up, you can click Start Recording. When you finish, you can click Stop Recording. Under File, click Show Recordings to be directed to the file that your recording is stored in. Your file will be labeled with the date and time that you recorded. Now, let's see how to record on a Mac. First thing you want to do is open up your PowerPoint presentation and just set it to the side. Next, for your video, you're going to use QuickTime Player. So if you haven't 
uh, used QuickTime Player before, you just go to your applications and you should see it there. Uh, the first time that you open it, you will be directed to click on your video and camera. So it's very easy to do. Once you do that, then you'll go to File, and then you're going to click on New Movie Recording. All right, so once you do that, now you have your video. And you can adjust it by just moving your cursor to the corners. And it, to follow the guidelines, your video needs to be next to your PowerPoint presentation. It needs to be about the same size. Okay, so you have to uh, adjust it, mess with it a little bit. All right, so once you have your video and your PowerPoint presentation opened up, go to View and you can click on Float on Top. So what that does is now, um, it just helps you out a little bit. Now nothing can go on top of your video, so that makes it easier to uh, adjust. One very important step. What you'll need to do is, at this point, is you're going to turn off your volume uh, on your computer and then you're going to move uh, this volume here about in the middle or a little bit higher. I'm not going to do it because with the screencast it'll uh, mess up the sound, but that is very important to do because if you don't do that then obviously you won't be able to hear anything. So move your uh, volume up on your QuickTime player and then mute your computer volume. Make sure that your HD camera, there's a check mark next to your HD camera and a check mark next to your external microphone. Okay, so now you're basically ready to um, record your presentation once you have everything nice and situated. Go to your QuickTime player file and click on new screen recording. And then click on the red button here and then you will set up your screen. So you'll just open this up, make sure that your both your video and your PowerPoint is inside this screen. So whatever's on inside of the screen is what's going to be showing in your presentation. And now you're ready to record. So you'll just click on start recording and then you can do your PowerPoint presentation. You can move the arrows uh, to, adjust, uh, to move from one slide to the next. So once you finish your recording, you will need to click on Control, Command, and Escape. All right? And then that will end your PowerPoint presentation. Next, you will save it to your documents and that's it your uh, file will be saved as an MOV and then you can load that up into your Google Drive the final option for recording is for students who only have a phone to record their presentation you will still need a computer to run the zoom application and to show the presentation however first you should start a zoom meeting on your computer and open your presentation then you can join the meeting with your phone Once the screen share is live, click on record on this computer. When you, are, when you are finished with the presentation, you can stop the recording. At the end of the meeting, the video will convert to a video file. The phone camera option with Zoom is only possible for students who do not have a webcam. Since the screen cannot be half video, half presentation with a phone camera on Zoom, it should only be used for those who have no other option. To conclude, you are not required to use these applications, but if you use another software, the camera image must be clear and smooth. If you are using a webcam, then your webcam must take up half of the screen. Please practice using the software in advance to be adequately prepared. Thank you for watching and good luck with your research project proposal presentations.